Hello, for those of you who just logged on, we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. Hello, I put this in the chat, but for those of us who are just trickling in, we will get started in just a couple of minutes. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I think SLP is just running a little behind today. So um, thank you for your patience. Um, I'm going to give her a call.
Okay, folks. So I have not heard from SLP yet. I'm sure that something came up, but if we want to just do our um, 20 minutes of independent work and get that started right now, um, and if SLP is able to hop on, we can do our questions portion. Um, and if not, we'll have you save your questions for next week since we're here for the next several Mondays. Um, so welcome <laughs> to at least the first part of Watch Me Work. <laughs> um, I am going to start my timer for 20 minutes. Um, and this is the portion of the show where we work silently for 20 minutes uh, together in this Zoom space. Uh, so. Here we go, let's go. Hey, SLP. We are, uh, we're, we're, we started our 20 minutes. Hey there. Hey. Sorry about that. I had a little, whoops. Crazy. <laughs> had a little technical difficulty. Sorry about that. No worries. Um, Crazy. Do we want to, we can do our little intro spiel again. Are you there? Crazy. Are you? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. I think we can hear you. Yes. Great. Sorry about that. It was just I was just having a little bit of computer drama. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy no New Year. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm tardy. It's watch me work. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks. We're we're getting our technology together. Happy New Year. Happy. Lunar New Year also, we're doing Watch Me Work and we're gonna, we've been uh, getting together and working together for for many years and we're into another year. And um, let's see, I hope everybody knows what we're doing. If we you don't know what we're doing, we'll explain to you as we go along. Uh, Lolly, you wanna tell us how to get in touch? We're gonna work together and then we're gonna talk about our work. Allie, go ahead and tell us how to do it. Thanks. Yes. So if after the end of the independent work session, you have a question for SLP, if you're in Zoom, you can ask your question by clicking on the raise your hand function, which should be in the reactions tab, likely at the bottom of your screen. If you have any trouble finding it, you can just send me a message in the chat and I'll help you out. If you are watching with us on the live stream, uh, you can feel free to send us your questions via the public feeders, Twitter or Instagram accounts or via Watch Me Works Insta uh, Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. So that's how you'll ask a question. All right, all right. So here we go. We're going to work together for 20 minutes, then we're going to talk about you your work and your creative process okay so here we go and
<laughs> All right. All right. That's All right. 20 minutes. Thrilling, thrilling. All right. So here's the part where if you have questions about your work or your creative process, we are here and happy to talk with you about it. Yes, feel free to raise your hand. Oh, it looks like MC maybe has a question. Great. Okay, you can unmute yourself. Great. Happy New Year. The year of the new year. After Happy all your drama last year. So Yay. 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 How you doing, MC? Good. It's so great to see you all. Nice Likewise. to be back. Yeah. So um I think the last session or before I heard you talk about you were reading Chekhov. So that made me go reach for my Chekhovs, which I haven't read for years. Uh huh. And, you know, and it's just like, what a master, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. of like the, the form. Mm -hmm. And I was, thinking, oh man, how I got a long way to go for myself, but, um, <laughs> I am learning so much just by reading great works. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a great, so that's that's just, a great thing to say. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, nothing. Nothing. So, um, yeah. I just, and every, and I read it a few times. It's not long. Uh -huh. Each time I, I learn, I pick up something a little different. And I think I get more of the nuance. So, uh -huh good reminder so i followed yeah. your example so thank you oh that's my comment. thank you but thank you for that's a great that's a great thing to remind us all of how much we can we can learn by reading you know reading great works and if we're talking about playwriting or you know it, it's a lot um and if we can't like afford to go to a play or we have to get a babysitter or we have to organize you know we have to buy a ticket or whatever Sometimes it's really great just to say, hey, I can just, you know, watch a play in my head by rereading re some play that's really great and already written. It's really inspiring, you know. Um, and some, yeah, sometimes like, wow, look, you know, they, they've done such a great job and they did it, you know, maybe over 100 years ago or whatever. And wow. But there's always something more to do. I think there's always something more to add to it, you know the conversation, which is what we bring to it, our side of the conversation. Cool. Which play did you read? Did you, which play did you read? Did you read a play? You said check off. Did you read a, a play or was it a short story or? Oh, you have to unmute again. You should be able to. Okay. Um, yeah, I read some of his short stories and the one I was really thinking about was the lady with the dog. Oh, okay. Wow. Have a read. Oops. And you know, dog. that's my sister calling me and I have to talk to her later. <laughs> and I remember, you know, a lot of English teachers and writing teachers always point to this as an example mm -hmm. of a really great work and of crazies in the house. Be quiet, dogs. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I didn't why do you think it's it. a great why do you think it's a great work a lady with a dog the short story well i'm delving into it and um the economy of language too mm -hmm. like he'll just jump from one scene and maybe a week will pass or months but he or when there's um one of the characters there's a lot of places where i and i think would like 
get all this description in about the what right. he was thinking or all about you know the color of the tulips or whatever the but he doesn't do that because it does it's not in service of mm -hmm. whatever theme he has it's just sort of takes okay. away from the focus so mm -hmm. i'm learning that you know right. that economy and mm -hmm. he uses a lot of parallel symbols like um he'll set, show the meeting where this guy first meets the lady and then mm -hmm. parallel the next time he meets her you know mm -hmm. and you notice slight changes in um their behavior mm -hmm. or or some things remain the same so that's really good to use these sort of objects uh -huh. to reflect um change and a state of mind you know I don't I don't have to write he felt sad he started right. you know I'm not gonna you know don't have to do that uh -huh. see but, now we're all gonna uh, go and reread it now because I was reading some plays now we're gonna reread it yeah or read it for the first time maybe is there a translation that you'd recommend or or which who um I mean I'm not gonna read it in the original no, I think there's a couple of free ones you can do. You know, I just, I don't have it in front of me right now, mine, but it was the one from college. So yeah. quite uh -huh. tattered, mm -hmm. but, and I'm reading a lot of other things like shorts, just learning how to make, um, just stop with all the exposition and description when uh -huh. it's not in service of right. the people. Right. And this only comes out, you know, after you revise and you re revise and you revise. I mean, Chekhov probably didn't, could write it in one spell, but for someone like me, it's endless revision, which uh -huh. I, am, I am not a fan of. Why not? I'm in this. Oh, cause sometimes I get discouraged and I say, oh, this, this is, this sucks. You know, mm -hmm. ah, don't even bother. And that inner voice says that, you mm -hmm. know, but I should just keep going. Um, I do like line editing some things for other people, actually, mm -hmm. and taking out unnecessary words or mm -hmm. adverbs that aren't really needed. So I like doing that for friends. Is there so, is there a way that you could pretend you're uh you or your friend and I guess you, edit, you know I mean sometimes yeah. it's, it's, the big question is like one of the questions is how do we keep going you know mm -hmm. like how how do how do we keep going um when the, the, the when there's too much work or when there's it seems daunting or it seems overwhelming um and they're little I mean that's pretty much what we do we invent little tricks mm -hmm. take the mind into continuing on for another you know another page another minute another five minutes and if you enjoy doing line edits for friends could you just pretend someone else wrote it your work yeah I'll give it a try I returned to check off because you uh you talked about it so yes I'll give it a try you know? You know? oh and everybody who reads that story mm -hmm. these opinions are solely my own and they may or may not reflect reflect your interpretation and they they may be like total bullshit what I said earlier or maybe some things will um I don't know what do you say call to you mm -hmm. call or so mm -hmm. anyway always good to read and and they're short right right so thank you oh my pleasure thank you Thank you, MC. Um, next up, we have Emmanuel. Hi again. Hi again. Hi. I didn't want to ask a question, but no one was asking. So I do have a question. Um, awesome. So um, I've been applying to some uh, residency places um, with this kind of multidisciplinary solo work. Mm. And I'm having a little trouble um, formulating or making it into a into something very clear because it's a mix of 
very different disciplines and it's mm. um it's not something that is very clear like it's a musical or it's a so you know a stand-up or it's a play or it's it's got a mix of um like electronic music and there's like a monologue bit and there are songs and there's free improvisation and there's like a whole mix of things um it's very clear when you see it I hope uh -huh. I mean I've done uh -huh. I've done a few like a uh, little um end of residency performances right and it is it is clear there is a story um and everything feeds into something else it's not just these random things mm -hmm. um so I'm just having trouble trying to make it clear that it's clear, but also that it's got um, a whole bunch of seemingly random elements. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that right, are not right. random, but um, right, right. That are very different. Uh huh. And you're trying to you're writing a proposal for it. Yes, yes. Is I've there, done a couple, I, and I've got more to do. Right. Is there? There's not a. You don't have like a a, a video clip of it or anything like that, or do you? Because you had a. I, yes, I have. Um, I have a small snippet of one of the end of residencies, but it's like a minute and a half um, okay. and you can't really see the right. full spectrum of it. And then there's one video where it's just one part, which is just right. um, solo right. voice. It doesn't have what it's going right. to be. Yeah, right. I don't have a video. Could, of you, could you sort of just narrow the focus of it just for the explanation of it? You know what I mean? So, so instead of trying to describe the 12 elements that it has in it, you know, like, uh, could you maybe talk about the work in terms of story? I think that's a, always a good way to talk about it. The story you're telling and maybe mention three of the elements. Okay. Just, you know, three of the ones that are sort of like the most exciting to you, like this one, this one, and this one, and, you know, because then, you're going to capture the idea that it's more than just one way of telling a story, but you'll still be communicating the the essential part, the essential aspect of it. Okay. You yes. know what I mean? Narrow it a mm -hmm. little bit because you, you know you don't have to cover every all of it. You're you're just trying right. to get a residency so that you can work on it. You know? Yes. Um. So uh, does that does that make sense? Are there three or yes. four elements that you could talk about? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Th that helps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and make sure you're focusing on the story because you said the story is yeah. very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all something. very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. There's Great. a through okay. line through the whole thing. It's Great. just using different elements to tell that story that just kind of come in and then disappear. And sure. Yeah. Then, then maybe just focus on the ones that might stay the longest or recur the most, okay. or you know, okay. or yes. sort of the main tent poles. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very oh, good much. Good question. Good question. It's great. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have Kimmy, and then after that, we'll have Larry and then Lynn. Cool. You should be able to unmute, Kimmy. Hold on. Oh. There you go. How's that? Did I do it right? <laughs> I really should have had children. <laughs> I can't navigate technology without help from a nine-year-old. Okay, thank you for uh, taking my question. Hi, SLP. Hi, everybody. Thank okay. you for being here. Um, um, Susan, Laura, you made a comment a few weeks ago to me or to uh, maybe somebody else. And I just, it's just been sitting with me and I understand it on the whole, but if you could do a little bit more excavating for me regarding um, a scene you said, get in as late as possible and out as early as possible. Mm -hmm. and if you could, if you could, I don't know, elaborate a little bit more. Um, sure. sure. And that's, yeah, it, it, it kind of dovetails with what MC was talking about a little earlier about, she's talking about all the exposition and explanation. So just try to show the essential, if we're talking about a scene, right? Mm -hmm. Just try to show the essential of the scene. So um, I'm trying to think of uh, um, King Lear. Do you know the play? You know King Lear pretty much? The, the, so I, I don't know if it's I the first scene. I know okay, it Okay, so enough. it's a scene where they're like, you know, um, 
you know, he, he's in the palace and he says, get me the map. And they bring him the map and he divides up his country, right? Right. With the three daughters. Uh, exactly. So let's just say that's where the scene started. I don't know where the scene exactly starts, but that's kind of the, the big part of it, right? He walks in, he's talking. Okay. You could have started it like around there or he could be having coffee in the morning, looking out the window and then going for a walk in the garden. You, you see, there could be 12 yeah. events that happened before get me the map. You see right. what I mean? But but get me the yeah, I'm trying I'm just trying to think of a, a, a play that we all know that that uh has well, the, the, King Lear, the King Lear I saw was at the public. <laughs> Great. I, I just can't remember exactly how that scene starts. So if it doesn't start that way, forgive me. But that that's the idea behind it anyway. No, that's it. You, that's just, you just you just include the most essential information or to what MC was talking about earlier, the, the description that's really going to help tell the story and not the description that tells the audience that, you know, what it's like to drink coffee on a sunny day. Right, right, right. Because who cares? <laughs> you know, what's the story about? Stories yeah. about a dude dividing up his kingdom. Now, if the coffee drinking is essential to telling that story, then great. But if it's not just right. start where we need to start. And then it's like after the action is completed and the essentials of the action are completed, wind up the scene. Don't show him, okay, now he's got to like, um, I don't know, bring in his shoe salesman and try on five pairs of shoes because he, you know, he might go for a walk later. You know what I mean? Who, who cares? Right. You see what I'm saying? We don't see that part. Maybe that was in an earlier draft of King Lear. Or maybe the fool was like doing a magic trick. Right, uh, right. You know, cut, 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 cut. We don't need that. Yeah, thank you. Because I, I recently saw a one woman show mm -hmm. um, that had one woman too many in it. And it seemed very self-indulgent. <laughs> one woman shows one woman too many. Oh, ow. <laughs> person under the bus but there was a lot of like the 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 description of the play seemed very intriguing and then the play did not deliver any of that it was just went 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 like family stuff and I was just like I I'm not interested in your diary I I hate to be a bitch but I'm just not interested yeah 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 that, no I, I I I hear you and you know you know I mean you're, you're I'm, I'm sure you're right about it and you know what's the most generous thing we could say about that wonderful person they did their show right but they worked really hard writing it that they're trying to cathartically deal with whatever trauma they experienced through the activity of creativity and I appreciate all that uh I just don't I, I got enough of my own problems <laughs> you know the great thing about like someone you know, yeah they put themselves out there yeah absolutely and that's a hard that's hard and you know it's 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 super hard and I, I i hear you i mean i go to plays or i go to movies or whatever and i'm like oh geez you know what, yeah. what's up with that you know and I, at the same time you go you know we're all like seekers you know what i mean we're, we're all doing the best something. we can you know you know, cross that street with a walker. <laughs> yeah, and it and it and it helps you know. Maybe it helps hone your ear and your eye when you're writing your own work. That's exactly. You know, sometimes exactly. we go to work to show to to remind ourselves of what not to do. Yes, exactly, and that's why I wanted to like touch on this one element again and make sure that I was being, as MC said, economic and. You know, you don't want to be so sparse that the audience is constantly racking their brain to find out where the hell you are. Be so mysterious, like catch up and, you know, oh, I'm so clever. I want you to be part of the story. I want you to be engaged, but I don't want to belabor a point, especially since it's dealing with, uh, you know, childhood sexual trauma, you know, and I want I like the the depths I've been excavating myself to put on the page but only in order to make the jokes pop more as opposed to, you know, cause earlier iterations, it was like, 
a very sarcastic person answering huh. in a very curt way to deflect the pain, whereas that doesn't serve anything and it doesn't tell a story. She's just bitching about her life. So by going deep into, I was too afraid to say no, I was too afraid to do this. Then now we understand what too afraid to say no means. We've mm -hmm. all been too afraid to say no about something, mm -hmm. you know? So I just, I want the jokes to land, but there has to be a juxtaposition of depth for the comedy to be a relief as opposed to just a, a, a spewing of uh, one-liners. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I hear you. Well, cool, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, hon. Great question. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you, mean it. Got to run to yoga. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, Larry, you're up next, and then we will have Lynn. Hey, hey, SOP. hey. Um, I my mind just started really just going nuts when you were talking about Chekhov because I put some things together I hadn't really thought of before, especially you were saying what keeps us going. And I was thinking all of Chekhov's plays are are how do we go on? How do we go on? Mm -hmm. I've I've got 20 years to live, it's too much time. How do we go? On? And um it's interesting because I think. I never put together some of the things I understand about that his work. Um, I never apply them to my writing, which is that I think so many people find Chekhov boring because um, they think of him as writing literature and they do the work very preciously. And he was really writing about people who never know what to say. And you know, someone says, I love you. And the next, the person says, pass the salt back or something like that, you know? And like, uh, there's so much miscommunication. I think there's actually a lot of exposition, but he leaves the exposition and then someone says, shut up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it just kind of occurred to me about uh, how often I try in my writing to write well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've heard you say time and time again about um, write that shitty first draft. Mm -hmm. And how often I block myself because I'm I'm trying to write the final draft the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would it be like to write the shitty first draft and then realize, oh, it's he's supposed to express this shitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's you're not supposed to change the thing. And that's where the conflict is, is all that bad communication. Mm -hmm. So I guess I just wondered about, you know. We're, there's so much bad communication in life. That's what Chekhov captured so well. You know, he has all these long monologues where the people say, God, I wish I'd said this and that. And they regret what the, the way they said things. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to formulate a question, but I guess uh, I'm, I'm mostly just putting dots together, which is, uh, but I guess I'm getting something at, like, can you intentionally write um bad can you create intentionally bad communication can you um i guess i'm asking myself this question really is what i'm, I'm mm -hmm. guess i'm getting at. Mm -hmm. so i don't know if there's an answer to it wow. i just was stimulated by all the things that you were saying and putting some things together and i thought oh how how often my problem is is the way that i stop myself and um uh, if if part of the point was to write about the way people miscommunicate or poorly express or don't connect, how much of the writing is already valid before I even, you know, edit it? So, well, yeah. well I think the right, I think validity, valid writing, and the writing that is the finished draft are two different things really you know it's valid if you do it it's valid you know but I think to write I mean I don't know how many drafts Chekhov made I'm not a Chekhov scholar <laughs> at all you know what I'm saying um but I I do think that if he wrote a, a second draft or rewrote it all or enjoyed you know rewriting in rehearsal for for his plays anyway um there's some rewriting going on there and to write i mean to 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 write about to write in the voices of people who are not connecting is a very 
very huge skill. I mean, you, you know what I mean? That's a yes. big skill. To, yeah. you know, people, I mean, because you can't, because the reader has to notice like, wow, you know, those two ships just passed in the night, you know, you know what I mean? And that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a skill. Um, whether or not he, he got it on the first draft or not, I, you know, I, I really, I, I don't know. And I, I think it, I think it, it also doesn't matter what, what matters is that he created something that you can read and go, wow, this is, you know, the, this is about the difficulty of communication. Um, and for yourself in your own process, allowing yourself to continue working until you're done. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you keep working until you're done. And, and, um, that, that, what's great about reading, you know, writers are, wow, they're so good. Yeah. You keep working until you're done. You know, whatever they do is at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You no. Know? Um, and allow, yeah, I think allow yourself to, to write in, in that for that shitty first draft or that shitty third draft. Just yeah. keep digging away at it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, it would just help me to realize mostly to kind of, uh, it it made me think about that I'm, um, uh, it just made me uh, figure out a new way that I get in my own way. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate that. Also, yeah. before I go, I just wanted to recommend Paul Schmidt as a great checkoff. Uh, that's, okay. that's, the, that's the one I have, Paul Schmidt. He's great. Yeah, he's the best. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you, Larry. <laughs> All right, last we have Lynn. Hey, Lynn, happy new year. Happy new year. You should be able to unmute yourself now. Oh, Lynn, we can't hear you. You're going to have to hit the unmute button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. <laughs> happy new year. I noticed Ms. Schneider changed her name to Michael. And <laughs> uh, I, I think she's using her husband's or her son's um, uh, thing. And it's so nice to see you. I lost you. I, I lost. So I, I really missed you. And I'm so glad to be here. Um, Likewise, we're glad to have you back. And, and Carol, it's great to see you too. You know. No, I'm going to call her Michael now. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, this is not about you. This is about a question. I went to see Top Dog Underdog and um, uh, I had seen it many, many years ago when I was working at the public doing a, a workshop. And when I saw it this time, it was so much funnier. Is that because I'm older or is it, be or is it because it, it just seemed a deeper and funnier play. You know, it's not a funny, but you know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. it, the direction, is it the, uh, the actors? I know all of that has to do with it, but I remember when I saw it some time ago at the public, years ago, uh, I, I was so taken with it and, and the brothers and, and the... Uh, it wasn't funny to me then. It was very serious. And now there was so much humor and, and it made the play deeper to me. Uh, did you rewrite anything or is it, was it on the page or was it just um, a different? Yeah. Oh, th well, thank, first of all, thanks for going to Top Dog Woman. Thank you. Um, God, it's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Play. Yeah, it was a great product. They did a great job. Um, yeah didn't rewrite any it, anything i didn't like have a punch up of the jokes no, no. <laughs> uh, it's, no. it's the same play it's the same play maybe um you know we're more they're they're more like family now you know those guys have been around yes uh for a long time with us and whether or not we we've seen the play or not or you've seen the play before but we're we're more they're, they're more in the groundwater their stories are are just more yeah, they're they're closer to home because they've been with us for a long time. Yes, and yeah, I see what you mean. They're they're yeah, 
So the, the jokes are all the same. I mean, I, I do remember with the first time, the very first reading, public reading we had uh, in the Ansbacher, which was packed. So it was a sold out free, I mean, a reading. People were just rolling. It was so funny. There was yeah. so much laughter going on. And that was, you know, over 20 years ago. So. Wow. Wow. Funny. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. <laughs> it's funny until it's not. Yeah, well, it's not but, exactly. And then it's. I I I truly think when, you know, I I. I think comedy's purpose is, till it's not. Mm -hmm. If you're writing something that has any meaning, unless you're just writing a sketch, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or it's just a light thing. But if you're writing something about human interaction and human foibles it's about i lost you oh there you are you keep right. on moving uh um i uh i i i think it's not about the joke it's about the relationship mm -hmm. i've always felt that you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's so good to see you i'm so sorry i, I missed you for i don't know how uh long you know i i couldn't find and then i had some issues and i couldn't be on the computer oh it's so nice uh to be here you know likewise it's it's really nice to be here and we're we're back so we have dates we have at six o'clock but we have um we have more dates coming up yes this, uh, we do tell yeah, us we all have, what we're doing. we have dates uh monday now through the end of february so fantastic um, we're at same time, same place. Um, you can find us. Oh, this we will be here. We'll be so here. All of us hermits, all of us who have been hermits for this the the pandemic, you know, <laughs> it, it's sort of like uh, being with family again. Mm -hmm. you know, very nice. Yeah. Likewise. Okay. Well, happy New Year, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you.